Do you realize what just happened? The U.S. Air Force just hit a turning point, may have just taken its biggest step toward redefining air dominance. And this isn't about a fighter jet. It's about a fighter drone. Meet the General Atomics YFQ-42A, a stealthy, autonomous combat aircraft that just completed its first flight. And this isn't just another drone test. This is the opening shot of a new era in air warfare, one built for high-end conflict against near-peer adversaries like China and Russia. General Atomics YFQ-42A is one of two next-generation designs selected under the Air Force's Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program, or CCA, a multi-billion dollar effort to pair manned fighters with highly capable autonomous wingmen. The second prototype, Andorel's YFQ-44A, is also underway, but the YFQ-42A just pulled ahead by taking to the skies first. Here's why this is historic. From contract award to first flight, the YFQ-42A reached the runway in just 16 months. That's lightning fast by Pentagon standards. For decades, the Air Force has struggled with long, expensive development cycles. But this time, they stripped away bureaucracy, aligned industry with warfighter needs, and delivered a flying combat prototype at record-breaking speed. The YFQ-42A is derived from the XQ-67A, a drone developed under the once-secretive Offboard Sensing Station, or OBSS, program. That DNA matters. OBSS was designed to create a modular, low-cost, and high-endurance unmanned platform capable of integrating advanced sensors and weapons. Now, under the CCA program, it's evolved into something far more lethal. Here's the game changer. The CCA program isn't about replacing pilots. It's about teaming them with autonomous wingmen that can scout, jam, strike, and even absorb enemy fire when needed. Think about pairing an F-35 or next-gen AD fighter with two or three of these drones. Suddenly, a single pilot controls an entire network strike package. Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin put it bluntly, CCA is designed to extend reach, flexibility, and lethality in combat operations. And make no mistake, this isn't just about saving money or fielding gadgets. This is about survivability in a high-end fight. Imagine the Indo-Pacific theater in the 2030s. China's PLA is deploying hundreds of J-20 stealth fighters, hypersonic anti-access missiles, and AI-driven drone swarms. U.S. forces can't afford to send small numbers of $100 million manned jets deep into contested airspace. But pair those jets with expendable, yet highly capable CCAs. Now, the calculus shifts. The YFQ-42A could operate as a forward sensor, a missile truck, or even an autonomous shooter. And here's what's really bold. The Air Force isn't thinking small. For Increment 1, they plan to buy 100 to 150 CCAs starting FY 2026. But the long-term vision? Over 1,000 CCAs delivered across multiple iterative designs, evolving with AI-driven autonomy, advanced weapons, and modular payloads. But let's be clear. This isn't solved yet. There are major hurdles ahead. Autonomous target identification, secure data links in a contested electronic environment, and joint integration with manned aircraft, all of these must be perfected before CCAs can dominate the skies. And then there's production. Will the Air Force choose the YFQ-42A, the YFQ-44A, or a combination of both? That decision is set for 2026, and whichever design wins, it'll shape the Air Force's force structure for the next 30 years. The message from the Pentagon is simple. Speed matters. The first flight of the YFQ-42A signals a dramatic shift in how America develops and deploys air power, pushing past traditional acquisition models to outpace adversaries racing towards sixth-generation capabilities. The YFQ-42A's first flight is more than a milestone. It's a signal. The U.S. Air Force isn't waiting for the future, it's building it right now. As we move closer to operational CCAs by the end of the decade, one thing is becoming clear. The next great leap in air warfare won't be about stealth, speed, or range alone. It'll be about teaming humans with machines, rewriting the playbook for 21st century dominance. And if America gets it right, the YFQ-42A may go down in history as the drone that started it all.